Hello guys, in the last tutorial, I have shown you guys how to build a progress box for your UD project. But today, I will be showing you guys how to build a type of progress component, which is the progress bar using the same project. So, if you have no idea about the tutorial last time, you can check it on the description below. So, now let's go to our canvas. Mm, so before that, I have prepared a few sprites for you guys. The first one will be the bar outline, the second is a rectangle bar, the third will be a full field circle and the outline circle. So let's go to our canvas, create an MD game, MD game object, then we call this progress bar. Then we create another image, this we will rename it to circle 1. Then we duplicate it and rename this to circle 2. So let's change the sprite to our fulfilled circle and also the circle outline. Now let us move the circle a little bit in front. Mm, before that, let's make it smaller a bit, maybe 64. Cool. Another, we also resize to 64 unit. Then we will move it a little front and also. A little back for the outline circle. Now we will create another image. Mm, place it above the circle, then we call this bar, then choose the sprite. We will be using the outline first. Go cool. resize the bar. Make sure you we are keeping the expect ratio. So this will be mm, a smaller four times two five six and four by a thirty two. So, uh, sorry, it's a total unit, right? Cool. Okay, now let's play around the position. Center it a little. Now let's adjust a little bit on the position of the circles and make sure the bar and the circle outline is connected nicely. Cool. Now let's create another image. Place it above. We will use the fill the rectangle bar. So. We will try to scale the bar, fully fill the bar outline. So maybe reduce the height and also the width. Mm, try to adjust a little on the position. Try to, yeah, cool. A little more will do cool. Then we change the Type, image type to fill and also the fill method will be polygonal. Then as you can see when you move around a few amount the bar will fill accordingly. Cool. Now let us enable both of our circle. Rename the bar to bar fill maybe. Yep. Let us add a text to our circle. Mm, center it Make sure overflow, then we try to increase the font size, cool, duplicate it, move to the second circle. Also, we are center it, Ch change the color maybe to white, cool, maybe change the text to 2. Rename the text to text 1 and the second text to text 2. Yep, that's it for our progress bar component. Now we will start writing a script for it. The script will be very simple. Since last time we have done a script for the progress box, now we just need to create another script called progress bar. Then double click to jump into it. Cool. What we need to do is go to your progress box script, copy everything. Yep, inside. Then go back to our progress bar and paste it. So, what we need to do is to um, remove the effect prefect we are not using in this tutorial. So, we will keep the text level, rename it to text one, fix the error by using Unity Engine.ui, and also copy this and paste it. We rename it as test2. Also change a few background to bar, 
field and also copy and paste another field we, this will be our bar outline now we need to create another two field which is the circle and also the second circle which is the circle outline we will call this circle 1 and circle 2 cool yeah let's fix the error so we create a method to initialize our color so void init color so remove the first line and we will replace it by calling the init color method so we will initialize for all the image and also the text so the circle one dot color equal to our color space it we set it for the circle two also we will be doing the same thing for the bar and also bar outline bar fill and also bar outline so and then lastly will be the text the text one will be the background color which we need to declare another color over here we will call this the background color cool set it on the text one then the text tool will be using the default color yeah that's it for our color initialization change the field background field to our bar field dot field amount cool replace the field to bar field remove this checking since we are not using any fact and also fix the text level we are using a text one you can set whatever text you wish to so currently we will be using the level number only so copy this and set the text to this will be the current level plus one Now, uh, yep, I think that's it for the script. Mm, on enable, maybe we should set the level to zero, and maybe not. Should set the level to current level. Yep, cool. Yep, it is how we reuse back our same code from a progress box to our progress bar. So go back to Unity. So let's try to add the script to our progress bar. Reference all the field correctly. The text one, text two, and also the bar field and also bar outline. Circle one, circle two. Change the color to something color you like. Make sure the alpha is two five five. And also a background color, we're we'll using a background on our screen. Cool. Yep. Now we can make a tag test button to test our bar. So what we do below, we are calling the or test. Cool. Let go back to our test script. So last time we are testing a progress box, so now we need to replace it. Since we currently will be testing a progress bar, so we will just call this bar will do. So when we click, we just call bar dot update progress. You can fill in any progress amount you wish to. So just need to reference at the test script, place a progress bar and also the test click listener. Cool. Now we are ready to test. So play it. As you can see, the color change to the color which we set on the field, and also the level is automated increases for the first circle and also the second circle. Yep. When you click the test button, the bar will fill accordingly. Depend how much progress you have input. This is how easy we can implement a simple progress bar in our Unity projects.
So the link for the previous tutorial will be in the description and I will share you guys the sprite that I am using to create this progress bar. So that will be in the description as well. So I think that's it for this tutorial. If this tutorial helps you, please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.